The Lhasa Apso looks cuddly and dignified, but do not be fooled by the appearance, because the Apso has watchful, alert and strong quilt personality. In this video, I will tell you all you need to know about the Lhasa Apso. Let's start the video with the breed's appearance. The Lhasa Apso is a sturdy and well-balanced dog breed with body slightly longer than tall. The average height should be between 25 to 28 centimeters, which is 10 to 11 inches, and weight is typically between 7 to 8 kilograms, which is 15 to 18 pounds. The Lhasa Apso is heavily coated. The traditional show coat seen on Lhasa Apso dogs is long, heavy and straight, and it hangs down, covering their face and often reaching down to the ground, but you can find them in variety of haircuts and variety of colors. The most common are shades of Wheaton, Honey or Golden, with black on the tips of the ears, tail and beard hair. Lhasa Apso has short muzzle and cute small nose. The hair typically hangs over the face and often over their small eyes. They also has highly feathered ears that hangs down and the tail should be carried well over the dog's back. Lhasa Apso is very often confused with another Tibetan breed, the Shih Tzu, and although the main differences are in their temperament, there are some small differences in appearance as well. If you are interested in comparison between the Shih Tzu and Lhasa Apso, I am giving you link in description to another Rokadok video, which is just about this comparison. To understand Lhasa Apso personality, it's important to know the breed's history. I will talk about the breed's history more in details later in the video, but for now, you should know that this breed was bred in Tibetan palaces and monasteries as alert watchdog and guard. And indeed, I would say that this is one of the best watchdogs of all small breeds. They will definitely let you know every time something suspicious is going on around your home. Because of their guarding history, it's only logical that they are aloof and alert around strangers. But Lhasa Apso was also bred as companion, which is why they are typically very affectionate and friendly family companions. Lhasa Apso tends to be independent and bossy dog, which is why they are not the best choice for first-time dog owners. On the other hand, they are very loyal and eager to please. Because of the independence, they are not total pushovers to train, and they need firm and patient trainer to become obedient. With proper early socialization, the Lhasa Apso can get along with other dogs and pets, but very often they want to be the top dog. It seems that the Lhasa Apso thinks about itself that it is a large animal. The Lhasa Apso typically lives for let's say 14 years, 14-15 years, but it's not uncommon for them to live well into their 20s. The oldest recorded Lhasa Apso lived to a whooping 29 years old. As I already mentioned earlier in the video, the Lhasa Apso was bred in Tibet as watchdog and guard. It is believed that they were domesticated as long ago as 800 before Christ, which makes them one of the oldest of all domesticated dogs. Because of that, it is also impossible to track down the breed's ancestry. The Tibet is a place with high altitude, with harsh and severe climate, which is why the Lhasa Apso must be a hardy dog to withstand these conditions. It is also a reason why they have such a long coat. The coat is supposed to protect the dog during the cold winters and the fur in the face should protect them from wind, dust and glare. The Lhasa Apso was highly valued by Tibetan monks, who believed that Tibetan priests will be reincarnated as Lhasa Apsos if they do not reach Nirvana. The Apso was also used as gifts for important visits and guests, and they were considered as good luck charms. Actually, the Lhasa Apso in Tibet were never sold. The only way a person could get one was as a gift. Just look at the coat, of course the Lhasa Apso requires a lot of grooming. Routine brushing and bathing are necessary, not only to keep up on the slow continuous shedding, but also to remove any dirt and debris that may get caught within the hair strands. This is not a total couch potato, but definitely not a hyperactive dog neither. Lhasa Apsos should be walked or exercised several times a day to maintain their fitness, but they aren't overly active even in small living spaces. 
The Lhasa Apso is prone to a few health problems, but it's still a very healthy breed. They are prone to intervertebral disc disease, cherry eye, patella luxation, hydrocephalus or brachycephalic syndrome. I already told you that one Lhasa Apso lived up to 29 years, but the average lifespan is between 12 to 15 years. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Lhasa Apso and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.